Hi everyone, this is Julius again from Ojas Web Digital Solution. In this video, I want to show you how to fix one of the major issues in Google Merchant Center and Shopify. Right now, in this Google Merchant Center account, I want to claim the website and verify the business. So if I want to do this, there are many ways I can do it. If I go straight to my settings and click on business information and head over to the website for me to verify and claim the business. If I stroll to the bottom here, I see there are three options. Most of the time we want to use Google Analytics to verify the business and claim it. If I click on this, by the way, Google Analytics has already been installed on the website and if I go ahead and refresh the page, you will see that the Google Analytics is properly installed and is tracking the website. Right now, I refresh the Google Analytics on the page and as you can see, it has reflected that one user is currently active on the website. However, if I go back to my Google Merchant Center, to verify this particular website if I click on verify with Google Analytics this particular issue will come up and this is one of the issues you might notice most of the time if you're trying to verify your website with Google Analytics in Merchant Center now how do I go ahead and solve this particular problem because if I don't solve this problem I will not be able to claim the business and I will not be able to use the Google Merchant Center account so this is a very important step you need to get done before you can run your shopping ads on Google. This might continue to give you a serious concern because you might not be able to use Google Analytics to verify the business and then what do you do? I will go ahead and use Google Tag Manager. So for this, I will ignore the Google Analytics option and I will click on Google Tag Manager. Now with Google Tag Manager, I will be able to install analytics and I will be able to claim this website very easily. I already installed Google Analytics on the website. So what I will do is I have to remove the Google Analytics on the website. This is done on Shopify website. So I will go straight to the Shopify website from my online store to preferences. Then I want to remove the Google Analytics from the Shopify website. I will remove it and I will click on save. Now I have removed Google Analytics from the Shopify website. And the next thing I want to do now is I want to install Google Tag Manager on this particular website and I will deploy the Google Analytics tag through the Google Tag Manager. So I have already created a Google Tag Manager account for this particular website. So I will go straight to my Google Tag Manager account and I will select the account then I will copy the code and install it on the website. So the next thing I will do is I will click on the container ID and there I will copy the first code that is to be installed on the head section. So I copy this and I will head over to the Shopify website and I will click on the online store teams. So from the team page, I will go straight to the action. Then I will click on edit code. So after clicking on edit code, I will allow the page to load. Then I will go straight to the team liquid. So from the team liquid, I can go ahead and use control F on my PC, control F and look for the head tag. So you don't need to do this because the head tag is obviously the first thing you will see when you open the team liquid. So this is the head. The first code is to be pasted as high in the head of the page as possible. So we want to paste it just immediately after opening the head tag. So I will click on control V. I have pasted the first code in the head section. So I will click on save. Now I will go back to my Google Tag Manager and I will copy the second code. The second code is to be installed immediately after opening the body tag. So I will go back to the Shopify website. If I search for body, let's click on Ctrl F and search for body. If you are not used to code, you might not know where to paste this particular code in this body section. You might go to the bottom of the page and install it just before closing the body tag here. If you install it here and save it and deploy your Google Analytics tag, the Google Analytics will work pretty fine, but you will not be able to use this particular method to verify your website in Google Merchant Center. Let's go ahead and test this and see what will happen. So I have installed the Google Tag Manager code on this particular store. If I go back to my Google Tag Manager, I can now install Google Analytics tag. But because I have already done that, I can go ahead and see what is happening on the website. If you don't know how to install the Google Analytics tag through the Google Tag Manager, you can easily go to the tag after installing your container on your website. You can go to the tag and click on new tag from here, new tag. Then you can select the tag, which is Google Analytics and configure it. I have already done this. I will not do anything again because this is it. 
Google Analytics is already installed on the website. So if I go back now and refresh this particular page and come to the Google Analytics, I will see that the Google Analytics tag is working. Now that the Google Analytics tag is working, let's go back to the Google Merchant Center and see if we can verify with the help of Google Tag Manager. Right now in the Google Merchant Center, I have selected the Google Tag Manager option. So I will go ahead and click on Verify URL. Now that I click on Verify URL, something again happened. And this is the second issue you might experience if you install the second code of your Google Tag Manager in the wrong section, which is just before the closing body tag. This is what you are seeing here. The Google Tag Manager snippet on your site is in the wrong location. So now that you see that if you install the Google Tag Manager code just before the closing body tag on your website, you might not be able to use this option to verify your website on Google Merchant Center. So that is why I want to show you this in this video and now i will go back to the website and i will remove the tag before the closing tag then i will go back to the opening body tag then i will install the tag just before the header tag so i will paste it here and what i will do now is i will save it now that i saved it i can go back to my google merchant center and see if i will be able to verify this particular website now i am back in the google merchant center so let's go ahead and click on verify and see what happened now i have been able to verify the website the next thing is to claim the urls if i click on claim the url i should be able to claim it now and you can see here i have been able to claim the url and this is how you can go ahead and solve the problem of malfunction analytics on the website if you are finding it very difficult to use google analytics to verify your website on google merchant center the best alternative is to use the Google Tag Manager. I believe you learned something in this video. If you have questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section and I will address every single question. Thanks again for watching the video and bye for now.